So you're looking to make a move to Temecula, California? Well, in this video, we're gonna go over the 15 things you're gonna wanna know before you make a move to Temecula. I lived in the Temecula Valley for over 20 years. I've seen it grow from, you know, a little small town to, you know, what it is today. And, you know, if you have any questions, you need anything, just go ahead and send me a comment below and I'll go ahead and answer it. If I missed anything in the video and you wanna, you know, tell me I'm wrong about something, put that down there too. So let's dive into it right now. Number one is Temecula's wine country. Temecula is renowned for its lush vineyards and world-class wineries. With over 40 wineries in the region, it's a wine enthusiast paradise. Plus, the city hosts annual wine events that attract enthusiasts from around the world. Number two is the Balloon and Wine Festivals. Speaking of wine, Temecula Valley Balloon and Wine Festival is a must-see with hot air balloons soaring above the vineyards at sunrise and sunset. It's a spectacle you don't wanna miss. Number three is the sunny weather. California's sunny weather holds true in Temecula. With an average of 276 days a year, you'll have plenty of opportunity to enjoy the outdoor activities the region offers. Number four is Old Town Temecula. Old Town Temecula is a vibrant mix of historic charm and modern convenience. From unique shops to gourmet restaurants, there's always something to do in Old Town. Number five is a family-friendly environment. Temecula is known for its family-friendly atmosphere, boasting excellent public schools and plenty of parks and recreational activities for kids. Number six is a higher cost of living. Keep in mind that the cost of living in Temecula is higher than the national average, mainly due to housing costs. It's a worthwhile trade-off for many, considering what you get in return. Number eight, outdoor adventures. From hiking trails to golf courses, Temecula offers countless opportunities for outdoor adventures. Lake Scanner and the Santa Rosa Plateaus are local favorites. Number nine is the farmer's market. Don't miss out on the Saturday farmer's market in Old Town. You'll find a variety of fresh local produce and handmade goods. Number 10, the traffic. Like many cities in California, traffic can be a challenge during peak hours. But don't worry, it's manageable and not as congested as a lot of bigger cities. Real quick, if this is your first time on the channel, subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know about the real estate market in Southern California. My name is Steve Batiste and I'm the broker owner of Next Home West Realty. And we get calls, emails, and texts every single day from people just like you looking to make their move into Southern California. So if that's you, don't be shy. Give me a call, send me a text, or shoot me an email. I'd love to help you make a smooth transition into the area. Number 11 is diversity. Temecula is known for its rich cultural diversity. This is reflected in the city's events, eateries, and overall inclusive community. Number 12 is art and culture. Temecula has a thriving art scene featuring a number of museums, art galleries, and theaters. The Temecula Valley Museum and Old Town Temecula Community Theater are local gyms. Number 13 is the job market. Temecula has a strong job market, particularly in healthcare, education, and tourism. It is also home to several major employers. Number 14 is its proximity to major cities. Located just an hour drive from San Diego and Los Angeles, Temecula is perfectly positioned for those weekend getaways or work opportunities in larger cities. Number 15 is quality healthcare. Temecula offers excellent healthcare services with several top rated hospitals and healthcare facilities in and around the city. Well, that wraps it up for the 15 things that you'll wanna know before moving to Temecula. If you have any questions, you need anything, just give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. 
Uh, don't be shy. You can also write it in the comments below, and I'd love to answer your questions. Anything you need, just let me know. Thanks for watching.